y'all, it's your boo Tasty. I'm back with another video. Child, y'all know I'm back with Pop-Up Demand. I know y'all missed my reaction video, child, and now I'm back. But bitch, before we get into this video, I got something to say. Bitch, where is you at? Bitch, you might be on my wall. Bitch, you might be on my screen saving stuff, girl, but... Where is she at? Like, she been missing for a whole three, four, five, six, two years now, bitch. We ready for NM5, bitch. I want you to take your time doing this album and stuff, girl. We get it. We get it. But, Nikki, we miss you, girl. Yes, she been liking stuff here and there, but, bitch, I want to see your face. I want to see you say a couple words, bitch. You know how them, um, them voice notes things on Twitter that you can do talking to uh microphone and stuff. That's what I want. Just I just want you to say, hey bar, something bitch. Cause bitch, we miss you. We miss seeing you. We miss that on um, the music. We oh D. One second. So yeah, like girl, we miss you very, very much and we want you to come back. So yeah. Love you, Nikki. Love you, love you so much. Miss you. Okay, so <laughs> The video I read today for Black Tea Blonde is called Nicki Minaj Ranked Top 10 Rap of All Time. J Prince says, Offset is a snake. Cardi B responds. Chill. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys like, like comment, subscribe to my solo channel. Share this video with a friend. Share this video with anybody else because y'all know my reactions be lit. And hit that bell notification button so you know I post another video. So yeah. And like on Scott to Black Sea Ball channel because y'all know she lit over on her channel so she make great content, great videos and stuff. Curve. So yeah, let's get into the video. Uh. All those people who hate my guts but are sitting in a quiet place listening to me talk. Yeah. Listen to me talk. 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 Listen
what's being said. And uh, it's all love after that. I okay, first of all, he was giving his opinion, first off. Second of all, yes, he's not family and stuff like that, but at any day, don't like he said, don't give him no points to pick and choose and stuff like that. When he's just giving an opinion, and he said, as we said, if he hearing all these things that's being said, then of course he's gonna come out and say something. So I said, let me hear what you got. Your dumb ass got to say, cause you look upset. First off, y'all speaking on my real brother. I don't know what y'all got with the y'all going on. Y'all need to speak on my real brother. I dare one of y'all to speak on me and Tate relationship. I don't know you either from a can of paint. I don't know how you're right. You're dead. Well, we don't know what's going on about the house. You in this your fifth interview. You done did by my brother. You ain't think about his mama. You ain't think about the family. We ain't said nothing. Ain't nobody said nothing but you. You nigga, man, who y'all think y'all did? John got it. Ain't nobody going for none of that, bro. You got a point. You got a point. And if you heard something from me, I'm going to tell you, it's, it's, it's going to come from me. Call my phone. Y'all going off of he say, she say. Then y'all supposed to be this is who, who y'all supposed to be. And y'all on interviews and it out on an interview. Tell me, I, I said, then call my phone, homie. You call my phone, we'll have a conversation. They what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. All that plant internet, internet games, I don't. This clown offset suffering from being. I would want you to damn call me. Call me so that you got enough that you want in there. So I know what the hell is up before we get on it, before we discuss anything on the internet, bitch. Call my fucking phone. About what he gonna do. Why you didn't call me to talk is the twist he want to use. Tell lies in your woman here. I don't have time to listen to weak shit. Ooh. Now you want to fake in front of a camera. Now he lies said <laughs> the lies you on your woman here. Respect for her and family. Mm. See, boy, you acting like you a part of a family that don't really fuck with you because mm. you're a snake. Now you don't know me from a can of paint. Let me see if I can refresh your memory. Remember we talked when you got your ass whooped in Atlanta? You forgot? When he get his ass Remember whooped? Remember when you called up on me and I came to L.A. and met with you because you was nervous about your Where he get his ass whooped? Y'all tell me to come in. Using the word flu. You forgot? Okay. If you ain't showing the fight video, bitch. Because yeah, I don't. I don't think I'm no joke. All right, you guys. Okay. As you heard, Jay Prince really is coming out here spilling some tea. So this is very, very messy. Now, Jay mm. Prince also decided to post on his Instagram, and this is what he had to say. A message to the man that's off. To those of you <laughs> that still live on principles over emotions, that know and respect me, it's all good. I don't care about the media, HOEs. They eat ish for a living. Mm. We live on different planets and breathe in different air, if you know what I mean. Mm. I only display loyalty and friendship to my brothers and my sisters until they show me they're unworthy never Period. gonna bully or live the life where i abuse my power on the weak no matter what you heard it's cat i'm glad i'm not one of those individuals that my families has to hold their head down when my name is mentioned mm -hmm. so excuse me while i did mess with these clowns because ain't nobody gonna tell them the truth like i gave it to them now after this happened this is where we saw cardi b liking several tweets all over twitter she first tweeted big lies she then liked the following tweet and also responded the person says you be set tripping and forgot jay prince had to help you feel safe in la where's the lie cardi said never tell him to show receipts only people that was there was whack and big mm. you why would he be called for anything involving crips whole bunch of fairy tales now cardi b also liked the following tweet and why is jay prince discussing takeoff family like he closer to them than offset ever was mm. now after this happened people are feeling like jay prince is pretty much saying that Offset now she got Miss Dangerous in the motherfucking damn when he knew that he was actually moving very shady behind the scenes. Now let's be very clear. Quavo has not come out to say anything. Jay Prince is trying to say that Quavo has a good heart so he does want to expose Offset but we really don't know what the situation was behind the scenes. However, he's basically trying to make it seem like he's doing nothing but to help and that Offset is the problem. Alright mm. you guys, 
this. So WAC 100 did come out to corroborate Cardi B's story, and he also confirmed that Jay Prince had nothing to do with Cardi B's issue in LA. It was actually WAC 100 who was present for this situation. Now, WAC 100 said this, I am Cardi B tells no lies. Jay Prince had nothing to do with that weekend or that issue. Stuff was different back then between me and the other individual. It was a simple round table and understanding. He cleared the way on his side and myself and the Bompton homies cleared it on our side. On top of that, without mentioning it or any names, her management team was my brother and Offset was with me long before he met Bozo. Stop lying. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, the issue that Cardi B had in LA was due to an Instagram post that she made. Cardi B was wearing a blue fur jacket and she said this, I hate wearing flu, but this coat was too poppin'. Now, when she said the word flu instead of saying blue, many people in LA did take disrespect to that because it was almost like she was not trying to say the B word. So it would make sense for WAC 100 to meet with her because I'm that would be the territory that she would be in. On top of that, Jay Prince is also trying to say that Offset is a fake gangster. He is trying hmm. to say that Offset's been lying to Cardi B about how he's been moving in the streets. So this situation, you know, it's just so messy. Mm -hmm. You guys, at the end of the day, Cardi B should stay out of it. This is a man's yeah. argument. If she <laughs> That's what I was about to say. Why are you on the TV? That may not be in her best interest. Yes, and I should her, girl, I girl, stay out of it because these men are messy. They're messy, messy, messy. And if you're not ready for your dirty laundry to be out there, and if you're not ready to be clapping back and arguing all this other stuff, then I would just stay out of it. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and get into the final topic, which is none other than Billboard the Queen ranking the greatest rappers of all time. And guess what? Minaj is the only female in that top 10. We do have Jay-Z at number one, Kendrick Lamar at number two, Nas at number three, Forrest, Robbie. Tupac, Eminem is number five. You have Biggie at number six, Lil Wayne at number seven, Drake at number eight, Snoop Dogg at number nine, and yeah, number Biggie 10 is who? None other than the queen of rap. And let's be very clear, she could be number one or two, okay? Period. Actually number two, because I do think her and Jay-Z are like back and forth. And mm -hmm. you know, it's so funny. A lot of these female rap fans are upset because their favorites were not mentioned. I mean, what do you think this is? Nikki said something very interesting when she sat down with Joe Budden. And I think it really ties into this week with us falling out from the Grammys, us talking about Billboard, us talking about people not getting what they deserve. Mm -hmm. Nikki said something so important. Go ahead and check this out. I would feel so crazy if I had number ones and Grammys and ain't on nobody top 50 list. Mm. Period. That's all you got to say. <laughs> and she's on the top 50 list. Top 10. You don't, but you were on the top 50 list. No, no, no. List. Hold on. I'm not talking about myself. Oh. <laughs> and I'm, and I'm a, a shot. Wait, let me do the math. No, no, period. Nick, you talk about a mess. <laughs> all right, Ebony girl. Nikki said what she had a dag on. Say, child. Okay. She said, I'd rather really have number one. I mean, not sure, rather. I would feel so other, otherly than anybody else if I had number ones and Grammys and one on nobody damn top 50 list, bitch. And y'all see she's top 10 and she got number ones, but she ain't got no Grammys. But even if she got Grammys, she still be on the top 50 list, bitch. Don't do too much to dag on Queen, bitch. Don't do that. But yeah. Child, let me just go out there in the comments, child. I hope Offset and Mr. J, whatever his name is, child, who upset. Y'all need to talk about Cardi B. Stay out of, stay out of this stuff. Just like y'all be saying when men get in female business, she needs to stay out of the male business. Okay? Let them handle that shit because Cardi ain't nothing you do about it. Ain't nothing you do about it, girl. Let them handle that. It's, that's their beef. Leave that shit over there. <laughs> we ain't got time. But, um, yeah, child, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Some new guys think. If y'all disagree with anything I said, please let me know, child. Y'all know we can talk about it in the comments, child. <laughs> Don't have no problems. But, anyways, yeah. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys share, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> and, yeah, it's your boo and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.